The meters of pure adrenaline, then a free for bungee jump above the rumbling rapids of the famous Zambezi River will rock you. If not, why not try out some water rafting or kayaking? Or maybe you need some time away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Why not book yourself into one of these comfy lodges? The cultural memorabilia offered at the bustling craft market allows you to take a piece of Zambia with you. Sail away on a luxurious boat cruise to where the sun kisses the waters. Then wrap it all up at the bonfire night with some music, dancing, dining and storytelling. Some call it Zambia, but we call it home. One Zambia, one destination, endless exploring. Now talking to Rachel Merton. Um, Rachel, can you just um, tell us what your what organisation you represent and your title? So I work for Game Rangers International, which is the conservation NGO here in Zambia. But specifically, I run the Elephant Orphanage Project, which is one of the projects that is under the umbrella of Game Rangers International. All right. And so, running an elephant orphanage project, what does that entail? Where do you get these elephants from, and um, how how are we doing with that? Okay. So um, the project basically aims to rescue, rehabilitate and release orphaned elephants back into the wild. So we can be called to rescue an elephant anywhere in Zambia and we have elephants from many different places from Livingston, Sioma, South Luangwa, Lower Zambezi. So they, we get the calls anywhere where there's a park where there might be elephants. Joe, you, you are a veteran, you are an authority on Zambia's tourism. In fact, that's the right word. You're an authority. Just how does it feel being here at this year's Early First? Well, I'm very excited. This is happening for the second year. Uh, it's really good to get everyone together, to get the conservation message over in a fun and uh, musical way, rather than just rather boring literature seminars and, and seminars and, and you know lectures and thou shalt and thou shalt not. So, you know, more and more, we have to realise that the, the message of conservation has to be done at, at a cultural level. Uh, Mrs. Chilongo, just tell us about the role that WWF Zambia country officers played in organising and supporting this festival. Thank you very much, Caristo. First of all, I would like to thank you for giving us this opportunity. Um, but I would like to also point out that WWF believes strongly in taking the message of conservation to the people, to the public, where it matters most, and secondly, to have the opportunity to do it through music and through fun, we think that it makes the message much, much more effective than it has been. It's from the Zambia Tourism Agency, I'm Mevelo and patience. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Okay, let me start with uh, Mevelo. Mevelo, just how do you feel being here at the uh, early fest 2016? Ah, it feels very good. It feels very good. And the Zambia Tourism Agency, what are you doing here? Uh, what we are doing here, we, give, we are giving out information to exhibitors and uh, people are coming just to see what is happening around. And uh, we are running a competition as well. We are asking some questions. When they answer, we give them t-shirts. All right. Yes. Oh, so you're running a competition. What kind of questions are you asking them? Generally, just on tourism. Questions. How do you feel being here? It's very nice. It's good that we are here. At least we are marketing Zambia's tourism products. And uh, people are happy. It's better that they're even getting to win some products when they win the competition, when they answer something correctly. Yeah. It's very nice, it's good. It's a nice outing even for family, apart from learning about conservation of wildlife. At least people get to even have a nice place, fresh air and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. But are you guys also going to have fun? Because, you know, it's a day of having fun. Apart from sitting there, giving out information, is there going to be a time when you're going to go out and, um, and uh, dance with the rest? Yes, definitely, of course. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Just after working. We also have fun. And, and finally, this is about our wildlife, but especially the elephant. How important do you think our wildlife is to our tourism promotion? Um, it's good uh, in that um, most of um, the tourists who come to Zambia, those who appreciate wildlife, some they come to Zambia to see the elephant. So it's good to, to conserve the wildlife, yes. So life would not be the same without the elephant, right? 
Uh, like one with the same, they are the elephants, one of the biggest animals. And, uh, we've got people who do studies on the elephants, and uh, like my colleague said, it's good because people love to come to Zambia and see the elephants and other wildlife. And we've got 20 national parks, so we need all the wildlife. Yes. So, maybe what's, uh, what's your final message to um, people that haven't been to Elephants? Because it's an annual event and it's going to be there next year as well. I think I just want to appeal to all those out there who are doing nothing or watching TV to come over and have fun and to learn more about uh, wildlife. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah, I'd love to tell them the same. Come over, join us here in the showgrounds. And next year, if you're not here this year, next year it's also another time. You can come learn more on conservation. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Guys, nice, nice uh, talking to you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Thank you. Oh, wow. This has been a special edition of Let's Explore, brought to you the comments of the Zambia Tourism Emergency. We've been having a fantastic time at the Elephant Elephant Festival in the Lusaka Showgrounds. If you haven't been here this year, well, hard luck, but make sure you're there next year around the same time. It's all about celebrating our wildlife, and this particular case, celebrating the elephant. What would our tourism be without an elephant? I can't imagine a Zambia without an elephant. So please, make sure you join us next week at the same time. On behalf of the entire crew on duty, I'm Karistu Stamfian. Whatever you do, keep exploring. Stop when I'm